This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. In a, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a long time. I had a dream about you last night. So you were in a pair of shorts. I, I don't even know where we were. And I looked down because I always laugh at your legs. And I, and I see your legs and they were like tree trunks. And I went, Coog, your legs are massive. And you said, yeah, I know. I've really been working at them. But they were like, they were like sausage legs. And I only remembered that when I saw you coming through the door. So what did you think that actually means? I have no idea. But I can confirm. They have not grown. <laughs> no, they haven't. Your guns have. I know the arms are, but leg day, skipping. Mm. Um, okay. First of all, obviously, news just broke now that quite dramatically mm. that Josh Kelly's out of the fight with mm. David Avignesson. Mm. Um, got it. I mean, I was driving up probably got the call I know when I got the call at quarter past two oh, fucking who's that <laughs> it's another call who's that oh it doesn't matter <laughs> carry on um, yeah so I got the call at like I don't know quarter past two or something like that two o'clock and Frank called me and said Adam Booth just called him and said I need to speak to you urgently and then the call you fear well, as soon as Frank told me that, I knew there's a problem, obviously, and probably Josh Kelly's out because Frank said to me, you know, no one's seen him this morning. So he, he hadn't been down for breakfast, he hadn't been downstairs, he hadn't been in the hotel. And then when Adam said that, obviously, it ain't looking good. Frank called me back 15 minutes later. He's out, he's had a virus, felt terrible last night. Um, he's got a temperature, can't get out of bed this morning. He can't fight. And obviously... If you're in that kind of uh, condition, it's dangerous enough as it is. So it's it's frustrating, it's disappointing. It was a really good fight for the card, but what can you do? You can't go into the ring if you're not 100%, and I don't think he's even 50%. So it was a bit of a no-brainer for those guys. And I guess you know that the reason the call come at 2 o'clock is because they wanted to see how he felt during the day. And he didn't improve, and then... You know, probably four or five hours before they leave for the arena, they had to make a call, and that was it. So, disappointed for Josh. Of course, disappointed for David Avissian. Um, the fight will be rescheduled ASAP. There is no interim fights. There is no, you know, oh, we prefer somebody else. That is the fight to make, and that will be happening early in the new year. Just see when you, well, Matchroom put the, post that on Twitter mm. there's a lot of people suggesting that Kelly was kind of struggling at the weight mm -hmm. etc etc can you make any comment on that no I mean I don't know whether Adam Booth wants me to say it or not but he has had a virus earlier on in this camp um, which wasn't ideal but he got over that he sparred well he was fit to fight clear to fight um, looking at him on the scales I don't think he made the weight particularly well but after the weigh-in yesterday, he was interviewed, he was fine. He said he didn't feel great prior to the weigh-in. So obviously when your body's depleted and your immune system's down, when you're making weight, it's going to make everything even worse. I know that David's team, Neil Marsh and those guys who you know, have been in this position before, people like Neil Marsh and Carl Greaves, we've dealt with a situation. Um, obviously David's been compensated. He also gets the fight again, camp costs all reimbursed, everything for DMs. So, but it's a killer for everybody because, well, mainly the two fighters, but, you know, don't, people say, I've seen people on Twitter, oh, Kelly's swerved the fight, he's scared. He, but fighters aren't scared. And you don't train for an entire camp and spend a fortune on camp and training and expenses and then pull out of a fight. You don't, Kelly don't get paid. So, of course, he wanted to fight more than anything. And, um, yeah, I know that Avicien's team feel like he pulled out of the fight because he didn't fancy it, but I don't believe that's the case. But they'll, those two will get us a chance to settle the score early in the new year. OK, well, hopefully uh, he makes a speedy recovery. Mm. Um, we're just, yeah, literally a couple of hours away from fight night. We understand that Amir Khan, happy birthday, Amir, if you're watching, by the way, won't be here tonight. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, I know it's his birthday, but... I think that's the main reason. I mean, look, he's he's undecided whether to take the Crawford or the Brook fight. And I only want him to take one fight. 
because I look at the two on paper and I know that Crawford's for a world title, but it's half the money and it's a tougher fight. And But regarding, forget the money or how tough the fight is, this is just what I want. You know, this is what I believe the British public wants. And I think that his legacy will be tarnished if he don't fight Kelbrook. Not in terms of what he's achieved in titles and stuff like that, but just in terms of the obligation to provide the fights that people want to see. And I'm under pressure always to give you guys what you want to see. So, and I don't think there's any excuse why not to make this fight, really. And, you know, I think Hamir feels that if he fights Crawford, the Kelbrook fight will always be there, but it won't be. This is the only chance. Because I promise you, if Kel wins tonight, he's going to go straight into a big fight. Because he wants it, and he's hungry, and he doesn't want to wait anymore. So we have to make this fight now, or just forget about it forever. You know, some people might be watching this saying, oh, let's just fucking forget about it, because it's... It's dragging on now, it's dragging on now. It's dragged on for years and years. But now, it's there. You know, March, May, it can be done. And it's frustrating because I feel like it's the right fight for all. But it is his birthday as well. So, not yeah, being funny. Even if he was here tonight, that doesn't really give us any no, indication. he's been to indication previous whether. Kel Brook fights. And mm. Kel's been to his fights, but um, being his birthday, you know, Knowing how he feels about Kel Brook, I don't think he'd really want to spend his birthday watching Kel Brook fight. <laughs> so True. I do, you know. And you can't really say you can't really say you're swerving Brook to fight Crawford. I, I didn't say swerving. No, not you. No, 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 but I'm no, just no. saying people in general. No, I just you, think to fight Terence Crawford. But like when you right. look at it, you know, on one hand, you have a chance to fight Terence Crawford. Okay, it's for a world title, but you've won your world titles. You've unified world titles, and then on the other hand, you have a fight. Your country has been demanding for a long time, and it's twice the money. And like, I'm not, you know, I, I respect you for fighting Crawford, but this is on paper an easier fight, and it's double the money, and it's the fight that your people are desperate to see you in. And if you believe you can win the fight, you'll get more money fighting Crawford after anyway. So, yeah. I mean, how many times have we talked about this in interviews? Oh, and, I know. How many and, uh, what have you said to Khan then about making a, a decision said, on this? I think he'll make a decision in the next week. Yeah. And I just said to him, like, I spoke to Aram. I know the deal. Like, I'm not, I don't even want to be involved in that because... That's for March, yeah? Yeah. There's talks of different days. I think Amir would rather go later, but look, I'm going to support him, whatever he chooses, but I don't, I'm not... I don't want to be involved too much in a Crawford decision because I've got this fight for him and that's the one I want him to take. So we ain't going to fall out, but if he takes the Crawford fight, no problem. But I won't be over the moon. I'll be good. Because I don't think it's Have you got a date pencilled in for the potential Yeah, March time? the 2nd, March the 9th, or then or we wait till early May. So the earliest it will be is March the 2nd? Early March, yeah. Okay. So we shall see. We shall see. Now, obviously, I, I did want to interview you straight after. You didn't get a chance to do it because you didn't turn up. And then you mugged me off. I didn't tur not with the turn clickbait. up. I was away. So yeah. I'd done an interview for 20 minutes praising Tyson Fury, praising Deontay Wilder. And then I just said, someone said about the fight, great fight. I went, no, it was a, it was a good fight. I don't think it was a great fight. And you went, huh. Fury Wilder was not a great fight. I was like, fucking hell. But you did say it's not clickbait. No, I, 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 I said, it. I said it was a good fight. No, hold on. Well, what I was referring to. Uh, uh, Eddie, can I just say something? Go on. You said, and you knew what you was doing because you went, oh, it wouldn't be, you know, IFF if it wasn't the same, same controversial. controversial. So here we go. It wasn't actually a great fight. That's what you yeah. said. So but you did it, praise Fury and you did give it yeah, credit yeah, and blah, blah, blah. Where was the. Why, why did you. Why because did you it come wasn't. Out of that? It wasn't yeah, but Look, there's no point in me going, going into it because everyone's going to fucking just go mad on whatever I say. But someone sent it to me, right? Okay, listen. It was a really good fight, yeah? It was dramatic. Fury was unbelievable. How he got up in the 12th, I don't know. But... That's what you judge a fight on, the overall... It was, it was a good fight. But people saying like, it was a heavyweight classic. I mean, it wasn't, right? So, where's this geezer sent it to me? How many punches 
were landed in the first round. Go on. No, you tell me. No, go on. You, no, you you've tell got me. the stats in I front know, of you. I know, but I would just like to... I I mean, you know. Eddie, I don't know, okay. so you, you tell me. Ten punches. All right? How many punches were landed in the second round? Eight punches. Third round, 14. Fourth round, 12. Fifth round, 13. And then it, it goes like this the whole round. And then... Yeah, and then, hang you're on. You're analysing each round by round. Well, you I'm, really I'm not. I'm, I'm analysing total punches. No, I, get, I get that. In, in the 11th round, but there were seven punches. As landed. an overall, just like you I'm said. I'm saying it was a good fight. Really good fight. But when people are going, this heavyweight classic. All right. Was it? But, but there's no point in me going back because I'll get called <laughs> uh, sulking or salty or was something it, like that. Was it's it a good fight. Was it, really good was fight. it better than Joshua Parker? Yeah. Yeah, much more dramatic, yeah. Was it better than Joshua Takam? Uh, yeah, it was better than that fight. Okay. Yeah. It was a good, really good fight. But it wasn't a heavyweight classic. That's all I'm saying. There was like eight punches landed in a lot of the rounds. But when you kind of look at, look back at a fight, you kind of judge. You judge, but you what judge you're ju the whole thing. What you're judging it from is the fact that he got knocked down twice, and especially the 12th round. Ultra dramatic. I'm not saying it was a shit fight. I'm not even saying it was but an average fight. Okay. I'm saying it was a really good fight. I'm just not saying that it was a heavyweight classic. I won't have it. I... I'd love to know what you were what you were saying if you had promoted this fight. Oh, I, I, I don't think I would have called it a heavyweight classic. I mean, I call I called Joshua Klitschko a heavyweight classic. Again, Both guys was, down. Again, there was no I mean, there, rounds in that. Correct? No, it was fucking. It was. But look at the punch stats. I mean, and both guys go down. Both guys taking everything, standing back and forward, trading punches. But listen, all right, okay. I, I was, I said it weren't right. going to be a good fight. It, I was wrong. You it said was, it weren't going to happen. Yeah, I did, and I said that as well in your interview. If you watched it, did the fight if happen? If you even fucking turned up, did, did the fight happen? I don't know. Did it? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. Did it? <laughs> you, you were saying I, think, I don't even think it happened. <laughs> so I didn't think it would happen. The reason I didn't think it would happen, I gave it before, is I didn't think that Fury was physically prepared or ready to go for a camp and have that kind of fight. I hold my hands up. Massive respect. Yeah, but why were you the only one? Because I didn't hear anyone there a, else there saying were, that. There were people that didn't think this fight or, or weren't sure where it was. Who happen. were these people? Loads of people in the business. You know, you can't just rely on fucking information and, and views of cocksuckers like you. Do you know what I mean? I'm not I, talking about me. I tell you, <laughs> no, the difference is I'm all talking... you do is sit on the fence. No, hold on a minute. All you do no, is, oh, we, oh, 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 we interview oh, everyone no, in boxing, but, but so you no never... one else said it. Yeah, mate, trust me, people said it. Who people... said it? Oh, okay. cool. <laughs> He's got a 50% pullout rate in his last four or five fights. People weren't 100% sure. That's why I don't think the trap, like, I know there was Brits there, but I think that a lot of people just weren't sure whether he'd make it into the ring. And I was one of them. So, yeah, but can you see why people would think that you would say that? A, you weren't promoting it. Yeah, but I don't, B, you didn't really want to really give it publicity. Start, that's, no. Listen, if I didn't want publicity, I just wouldn't give you an interview. And I've got a big mouth. I like giving publicity. <laughs> I like talk, I like being controversial. I like winding people up. I like saying things. But I can't even tell you that I was winding you up saying it wouldn't happen. I just didn't think it would happen. When it was announced, I'm just being honest... When, I, when it was announced, I thought, I bet that don't happen. That was the first thing in my mind, right? When, and I, again, like, I'm not going to go into ticket sales because if I tell you the truth, you just go, oh, it's just being salty again. So it's over, right? But I knew about the tickets. And then I just thought, they might pull it. I just felt like, I'm not sure this fight happens. And of course, it happened. And of course, it was a really good fight. And I got mugged off. And I got abused. And I got loads of stick. And guess what? Fucking, here we go again. It ain't nothing new. It's not my first rodeo. It's not the first time I've, I've got it wrong. It won't be the last time. It's not the last time I got stick. It's just what it is. Fair enough. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to sit here and say I got it wrong. I thought Fury would get knocked out. He nearly did, actually. But I well, didn't technically think... he did. He did, yeah. <laughs> technically um, he did. But he, I didn't think he... I thought, I thought Wilder was dreadful. But maybe that was just because Fury was so good. Mm. I've got massive respect for Fury. And I've always said this. like It's not that I don't like the guy. You know, He messaged me in the week and I told him, big respect, I thought you won the fight. And you know what he's done is inspirational. And I particularly like the way 
I think sometimes you don't really realise that. How old is Fury? 29? 30? 30? 29 or He's 30. He's a young man. Yeah. Like, I'm 39. So I'm 10 years older than Fury. You change a lot. Well, you, you certainly change a lot from the ages of 20 to 30. And then even more from the ages of 30 to 40. And I just think he's matured, he's grown up, he's got a great family, he's got his kids that he loves more than anything, and I respect him as a man and a fire. But I'm not going to do interviews with you and just have things in my mind and not tell you what I think. There's no agenda behind it, I'm just being honest. So I didn't think it would happen, and I didn't think it would be a good fight. It happened, and it was a good fight. What more do you want me to say? Fine. Otherwise, what we do? We don't do these interviews, and I just keep my mouth shut. No, because I enjoy trapping and I enjoy sometimes rubbing people up the wrong way being a little bit controversial pissing you off sometimes and that's what it is so WBC put out last night they've sanctioned yes interesting wording sanctioned not yes. ordered sanctioned. well I looked at a lot of media reports who said WBC order rematch not as far as I'm concerned I mean I don't know if anyone's spoken to Maurizio as I read it it says we support the rematch, basically. And if you want to have a rematch, it, we will sanction it. So what's the difference between them putting that out and not putting it out, if that makes any sense? Not a lot. Probably just looks good for them. Okay. But, no, because the main thing is the winner had to fight Brazil. Brazil. So they'll right? support... So what yeah, they're saying okay, now yeah, is we yeah. sanction a rematch. Because if you looked in the, in the statement, it said the mandatory situation will also be formed in the resolution, which basically means... We would allow this rematch. And then the winner, the winner has to, has to fight, fight Brazil. Brazil. I, I mean, I'm just, I might be wrong again. <laughs> so you can all run this video back and all. When, it, when they come out and Maurizio says, no, we've ordered a rematch. But it's not how I read it. I don't know if. No, that's, yeah, I think I mean, that's. Um, yeah. So an ordered rematch is you fight him again or you lose your belt. That's but not the case. Because it was a voluntary <laughs> challenge as well, it's hard to. Order rematch. And I don't know, apparently the British Boxing Board of Control lodged the appeal with Frank. But the British judge scored it a draw, which is a bit weird. Normally they'd sort of back their own, do you know what I mean? But maybe they feel we got it wrong. I mean, I, had, I said in an interview, I had Fury winning by two rounds. How does this affect your kind of plan for really. Joshua? I mean, either Wilder wants to be the undisputed champion and fights Joshua next. I mean... You know, all, it, from everything he's saying, he wants a Fury rematch, which, you know, I don't think anyone would be gutted with that outcome. Um, but he's also said, one face, one champion, you know, the division must have a, a, a champion. Maybe he's just, maybe he's a bit salty and just says, no, fuck Joshua, you fuck Hearn and Joshua. You know, if he feels we mucked around before, I'll fight Fury again. But there is a chance to form an undisputed champion. And we can make that fight for April. Um, we could fight Fury. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, Fury wasn't mentioned before this date because no, you it wasn't didn't because he well, would two win. things. One is because I didn't think he'd win, but two, even if he did win, Wilder would have a rematch clause, so we couldn't talk about Fury yeah. anyway. But now he's but firmly 100%, in the mix. Yeah, hundred percent. And you know what? If you put Wilder and Fury up there, and you ask Joshua, take the undisputed away, take the belts away. Fury. Who do you want? I believe he'd choose Fury. Maybe not before that fight, but there's always that element, isn't it, of, oh, you know, Fury won the belts and then Josh picked up the belts that he dropped. You can't blame Josh. Fury lost those belts himself. He didn't, you know, it, they didn't evaporate into thin air. His behaviour, his actions lost him those belts and it was unfortunate for him. I'm not saying he was a a tit or an arse. He, it was unfortunate for him. He had an illness. And it spiralled out of control. He had the drug test. He had all the stuff. And he lost his belts. So someone's going to win the belts. As it happens, it was AJ. But there's probably always that thing that people say, oh yeah, but he Fury beat Klitschko first. So maybe Josh feels like, I want to beat Fury because he beat Klitschko and he beat Wilder. So... Until I beat Fury, maybe there's a, a, a small group of people or a group of people who say, no, no, he's the man. You ain't the man, he's the man. So, Which cool. is fair enough. Yeah, so Josh Josh will want... I know Josh, he's competitive. And, you know, 
I know again, another thing which doesn't matter whether I say or not, I believe he beats Fury and I believe he beats Wilder. Not just beats Wilder, but that ain't going to be pretty. So, but again, I can sit here and say that. We've got to try and make it happen. So, could we fight Wilder? Yes, 100%. Could we fight Fury? Yes, 100%. The priority is the belt. But that priority is narrowing in terms of the Fury option. But I just think, if we don't fight for this, if this undisputed fight doesn't happen next, I'm not sure it'll ever happen. Because we'll have mandatories. He'll rematch Fury. He'll probably get beat to Fury. Then Fury will have to fight Brazil. And it's just like... We'll get too so complicated. It will. So What's Anthony Joshua's next mandatory? Is it with the WBO? The WBO. It's not actually due till about... It's like a, a year, 18 months, because he's super champion, after the Parker win. So it won't actually be due till like October, November. Right. So I'd like him. I mean... Dillian White, if he beats Chisora, will be that mandatory. So, What about the IBF one? When does that, that come That comes around? after. Right. So it goes, it went IBF, IBF with Takan, WBA with Povetkin, WBO is next, and then it goes back to the IBF. Right. And that'll be Pulev, but that'll be 2020. Who's Pulev signing with? I don't know. Bob Aaron, is it? Yeah, is he signing with top rank? Yeah, I don't know. That's okay. Cool. Um, but at some point, like, you, you win the title. If you, if you become undisputed... And then you probably vacate a few. Because by that point, you're not going to want to see Joshua against Pulev. Now, if Joshua fights Wilder and then fights Fury, you ain't going to want to see him fight Pulev. Well, who does he fight next? I that anyway. Dillian well, White, do... Gerald Miller, Luis Ortiz. There's loads of people coming through. Great, great time for the division. Joe Joyce? I don't know. He's coming strong. Dylan White. Mm -hmm. So, is he still, if Fury and Wilder rematch, mm -hmm. is he still your kind of number one? There's that? about three or four choices. For, Usek, for is he in yeah, there? Yeah, I think, I mean, I heard people think that it's done, it's signed. We haven't even had a chat with Usyk about the job. Well, other than he wants to fight. I mean, it's not even on the agenda for April. But could it be? I don't know, until I sit down with him. He's saying he'd won a couple of fights in the division first. Would he take it straight off the bat? Who knows? Gerald Miller? Maybe we go to America instead of Wembley and make a statement out there. Dillian White, he's got to beat Chisora first. So absolutely everything is in play right now. And we've probably got a month till we've got to finally pull the trigger on what we do for April. So not necessarily obviously before the year's out. I'd like to. I'd, I would like to have it done now. But with everything that's been happening and then we've got next two weeks, you've got Chisora White. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. And all, and obviously, all this stuff. I don't know what's going to happen with Wilder and Fury. Hmm. You know, if you order a rematch, I mean, if they sanction a rematch, does that mean it's a 75 25 split or 70 30 split? I mean, Fury's going to want a much better deal than he got in the last fight because he won, really. So I don't know if that's easy. And again, a lot of it depends on Wilder. It's down to really what if to Wilder if he really wants to that undisputed title. If he wants that legacy to say I'm the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, I think he'll fight Josh. But if he doesn't, then he'll just fight Fury. And I don't, you know, I'm not saying if he fights Fury, he's swerving Josh. But I'm just saying it's very clear that he's talked about for his whole career being the undisputed champion. You know, one face, one belt, one name. And it's right in front of him to do it. If he believes he's going to beat Josh, he can fight Fury after with all the belts. And that fight becomes huge, undisputed fight. So we'll see. And, and I don't rule out a Fury fight either. Have you had conversations with like Finkel? Yes. Recently? I'm not going to discuss it. No, I know, but you've had conversations. Yes. Okay. Just positive? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Fine. look, we made a decision and, and that neither of us. And last time, I think we both played it wrong. He went to the media at all opportunities. I was my normal, brash, arrogant self. The, probably the timings didn't, didn't weigh out. I don't think... I'm not sure whether they wanted the fight or whether they were always fighting Fury. Well, it's history now. But we both agreed, no media talk. Because we want to see what can be done. But maybe, maybe he's just decided he's going to fight Fury again. I don't know. I mean, if he does, we have to do something else. What do you think is a fair split for each of those? I don't even go into it, but, you know. 
Can you just tell me that you don't believe a 50-50 with either, a 50 either 50 of the fighters? Right no. I mean, they've both raised their value through the last fight, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, look, we'll, we'll see how we get on. But you can't, you can't just ignore AJ's value, four belts, numbers, draw. But we want those fights. So maybe we have to give a deal that we don't necessarily feel is right. It wouldn't be the first time he'd done that. Do you believe one of those fighters holds a, a better percentage than the other? Not particularly, no. You believe they're the same? Probably. But, but Wilder's, Wilder's got, the belt. got the belt. Right, yeah. But Fury, you know, Fury's, Fury is a bigger fight for Josh in the UK. Wilder is a bigger fight globally. Right? Who so, does more buys, in your opinion? In the UK? In the UK, it would be Fury, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, but there's more money in the Wilder fight because of American TV, mainly. And global TV, to be honest with you. But... You, Fury fight does more buys. Fury Josh is a mass. Fury Josh is that's the biggest the fight biggest in this country for a ever. while. No, yeah. ever. Yeah, ever. The biggest fight ever in this country yeah. was Joshua against Klitschko. Joshua Fury is, big, is bigger. It's the biggest fight ever. Agreed. And I know, yeah. I know, Josh fancies it, and I know Tyson fancies it. They both want that fight. Fucking what a fight that'd be! It's just made me go a little bit horny. <laughs> What build up? I mean, you couldn't, you know, two completely different characters, two completely different looks, two completely different athletes. Buttons will be pressed. Yeah, oh, mate, it's a bit humble, but that's what we live for. So, you know that about me. So, when people say, oh, you, just, you don't want to fight Wilder or Fury, what do you think? What, what do you think? No, not them, you. No, I know. Do you think I want to make fights like that? Do you think I want to be involved with in fights like that? Of course. You can't call me a, a limelight stealing, uh, money grabber and then when there's an opportunity to have more limelight than ever and more money than ever think that I'm it's one or the other mm. do you know what I mean I want those fights with Josh I, not just even for the money or limelight I just think he wins and I want even from a selfish point of view I want to promote the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world and walk around and go back to all the people on social media and say suck my nuts as that bloke says. So, I want it bad, bad. There's nothing I want more. And actually, the fight I really want is Wilder, for that reason. But I would love him to fight Fury. Love him to fight Fury. It's a much harder fight. It's not a dangerous fight. You didn't previously think this to last Saturday. Mm, I, I would have said to you that the Fury fight is a more difficult fight technically, technically but yeah. nowhere near as dangerous as a wild fight you agree with that I mean the thing is about fighting Fury is I said word this right I was going to say he can't hurt you of course he, but he's not I don't believe he can knock Joshua out and I don't believe he can knock Wilder out either but he could maybe he could outskill him and outthink him well he did with Wilder mm. but I'll tell you one thing Wilder against Joshua that's just a bloodbath that's vicious brutal and someone is getting tanked out. And it'll be Deontay Wilder. I, I just have absolutely no doubt. If jo if you want to get hit straight down the pipe like he does against Tyson Fury, you get hit by Anthony Joshua once and it's all over. Because it'll sting you and if he don't knock you out, you'll be out and then it'll just you'll have you'll get hit by forty punches that you don't even see. And it'll be over. But he's very dangerous. This is a little bit irrelevant, mm. but Fury was asked the question in the press conference mm. how Joshua would have been with that final round. <coughs> yeah. Would Joshua... How he would have... Yeah, how he would have kind of dealt with that. Well, he, would, he wouldn't be in the 12th round. Okay, but let's just how, imagine I mean, for one second he was. Do you mean that does he Does he get up from that, from Wilder? Do you think that... Oh, again, like this is just going to be another one where people go, <laughs> fuck off, man. But it wasn't. He Fury rides the shot so well that even on the way down, he was riding that left hook. Watch it back. He's going backwards, and he like don't get me wrong. They were big shots, but I don't think. I just I just think that he. He could have been hit a lot more flush than that. Is what I'm saying, and 
but he didn't get hit flush because he's so clever and awkward. Does that make sense? And maybe AJ gets hit much more flush because AJ will stand in front of him and try and knock him spark out. So could AJ take in those shots? Maybe. You won't know. I mean, you watch the shots he took against Klitschko when he was out on his feet, standing up, taking left hook after right hand, after Where pre left hook. pretty much in a kind of different situation, no one saw Joshua coming through that at that point either. Mm. But I think Joshua's matured a lot as well. Mm. What had he had when he boxed Klitschko? 17 fights. 18 fights. He's a rookie. And he went in with Klitschko and Wembley in front of 90,000 people and got off the deck to stop him in the 11th round. So I think there's I think Joshua's getting better and better and better. I think I think he's only just beginning. I think he's only just learning. And people just remember that he's got six or seven years in this game. You'll get everything, trust me. But just judge Joshua at the end. Not after twenty fights or twenty two fights. Judge him at the end. When he's boxed and beaten everybody. Because I believe he will. I believe he's the best heavyweight in the world. All right, just a couple more things. Mm. I know you've got to get your shirt on. It's just hanging in the back. So. All right, yeah, okay, we're all right. All right. Okay. One more question on... I know you're not going to talk about blah, blah, but Finkel said to me that he would probably go back to you with another offer. Is that something you're expecting on their side? Maybe. Okay. Could be a hundred million. We'll take it if it is. <laughs> um, I just... Everything is down to whether he wants to be undisputed champion. That's it. Or whether he don't care. But if he don't take the fight now, then I don't think he, he's ever wanted the fight. Because that's a bit harsh, isn't it? No, it's not. Because no, he had with, a chance. With, no, but with this Fury situation, no, it's, it's it, this is he's going to make more money in a Josh fight, right? And he can be undisputed champion. So it's about what you it's about what you want, you know. And all I can tell you is, I'll do all I can to make the Deontay Wilder fight, and possibly the Tyson Fury fight as well. Okay, moving on. Mm. Your boy, Demetrius Andrade, yes. had mm. an issue carrying a firearm with no permit, mm -hmm. according to reports. Um, what can you tell us about this? I can just tell you that I spoke to his lawyers last night. Um, apparently he does have a permit, didn't have it on him or something like that. Um, they're going to review the case and then talk to him in March or something like that. I, I can't go too much into it because I don't know the exact facts, only that there's a very strong argument from him saying everything was in order. So, does it affect, due to fight January yeah. the 18th. Does that affect that? Not really. I mean, not... But he has an injury, doesn't he? Uh, no, no. He had an injury in the last fight. He's, he could fight on January the 18th. Okay. It's just whether... Well, there's nothing stopping him from fighting January right. the 18th. Okay. Like legally or... you know. But it's just whether he wants to go through that. I spoke to him and his guys... And I think he wants to fight on January 18th. It's mad, isn't it, over there? <laughs> Just, no, I, know, I know. But it's normal over but there. It's but not, you know, it's he not. has a permit to carry a gun. But I don't know whether it was like in a couple of streets away from the state where he, I, I don't know. But still, you're right, absolutely mental. Mental. Absolutely mental. But not mental for anyone who lives in America. No. That's no. what I mean. But I talk to people in America about it. I go, how can you be allowed to go into a store and buy a gun? And they just think, well, right, to protect yourself. Well, I mean, Wilder was on the programme the other day showing his rocket launchers and shit. <laughs> Absolutely mental. I I mean, how do you expect there to be no violence if people are carrying on the streets? And, and some people who, you know, we live in a world now where people are influenced and people can get their thoughts swayed into certain ways and you can't just be allowed to go and buy a gun. I mean, but, fuck, I got crap. Um, but, yeah. Where'd that's you keep, that's for where'd another. Where'd you keep yours? For the streets of stuff. I had an air rifle once. I had an air rifle. Where's had a BB gun? BB gun. The G10, was it? A G10 shock. Do you remember that black <laughs> thing? Where you just popped the thing there and loaded it up. Do you remember that? 
No, I'm not going to say I do. There's ball bearings. Me and my mates just used to shoe each, like in the legs and stuff like that. Great, great fun. <laughs> um, you're oh, gonna... private school private banter. Private school banter. Um, you're going to announce your Jan 18th, Joe. Next week. Next week. In New York. Yep. Canelo Rocky. Obs. When are you going out? Wednesday. Cool. Um, yeah. Miller. Miller, Andrade, others. Four world title fights, I think, on the card. Any UK fighters on there? Possibly, yeah. Could be a light heavyweight on there in a title fight. One that's already fought recently? Yeah. I'll tell you, actually. Callum Johnson. I heard. Sean Good fight. Monaghan. It's a fight we're looking at. Um, it'll be at Madison Square Garden. Probably do a next-gen show on the 26th. Then we'll be at the 02 on February the 2nd. We'll announce that soon. Then we'll be back in New York on February the 23rd. We're in Germany on February the 16th. What are you doing on the 23rd? In... That's to be announced shortly. Something big? Yeah. Possibly. Mm -hmm. March the 2nd or 9th. It was a potential date for Brooke Khan. What was? March the 2nd or the 9th. Oh, 9th, yeah. Okay. Um, March the 16th is Paddy's Day weekend. Probably do something that weekend. But I think top rank go on the Saturday, so we'll probably go on the Friday. March the 23rd is another American day. April the 13th is Josh. And then we've got Germany starting up and we've got Italy going every month. So it's, it'll, be, it'll be a show a week. Are you going to any more random places in America like you haven't been before? Um, is there a plan? No, I mean, the thing is about... Oh, it's Carl Froch, ready for his normal call. He asked for a little rundown for, for the tonight's show, for his commentary. Talk to me about the John O'Carroll fight. That's what he does. Um, are we going anywhere random? Probably or not. anywhere you've already you know previously what? what I liked been. about Kansas was, they, you know, the, well, it was a bit weird because they couldn't believe they had the show there. But then when Nico Hernandez boxed, they all went home. It was mental. You imagine going home before a main event and a chief support. Um, so we'll be in New York in January. We'll be maybe back in New York in Feb, actually. We're going to LA. I'd like to go to Philadelphia. If John O'Carroll wins tonight, he'll be fighting Tevin Farmer in Philadelphia. Okay. Um, Texas is on the agenda. LA. Yeah. All right. Have you got anything else you want to slip in? No. If I forget, then I'm obviously going to interview you after. Yeah. Um, oh, I did have one more question. Mm. Rumours about Golovkin coming to the zone. I think he's talking to everybody. Yeah. I don't, you know. But I, I saw a quote saying that at some point, I don't know what it was, and this might change by now, mm. that you, or not you, but the zone, you, whatever, had offered him his best deal to date. I don't think that's right. I think what that article said was we offered our best offer. Right, not said his best, best offer. the best offer to date. Or the best the, offer. I think okay. they meant our best offer. Right, okay. I don't know. But we yeah, I met with him. Had a great meeting. And I'm, he's meeting, he's going to meet with everybody. I think we've got the perfect platform. We've obviously got the Canelo fights. But will we get him? I have no idea. Okay. Eddie Hearn? I'll let you... Cheers. Get ready. Get ready. Thank you. Go on.